Yo, welcome back to Devlog. In this series, we are developing payroll software from scratch. In this episode, we are re-envisioning the employee self-serve to be a robust and organized hub for all your payroll needs. Do not worry if you're new to the series, I'm sure you can follow along. Alright, let's get started. Currently, the Employee Self-Serve app has an open concept design with just two pages, the dashboard and my information. The plan has been to display everything the user might need right on the dashboard, which works at first, but as we add more features and functionality, the page is going to get very cluttered. In contrast, the admin app has a traditional layout with a sidebar and pages for individual features. Using this structure on the self-serve app will give us more room and organization as we develop benefits, time management, and more features. Also, comparing the two apps, the admin app feels more robust and secure with its container approach, which are things people expect from financial software. So what we're gonna do is implement the same layout and page structure from the admin app on the self-serve app. I'm not gonna lie, the code shouldn't be complicated. Hopefully this goes smoothly. Oh yeah, first try. We got the general layout set up, but there are some chores we have to do to get this looking perfect. Firstly, let's update these translation keys. Wonderful. Next, we need to wrap the new layout with the employee context, which fixes the greeting header. Looking good so far, let's add a new page dedicated to pay statements. And let's get rid of some of this padding and let these components breathe. Much better. Oh, forgot to translate benefits. There we go. Now we can yoink the pay statement table and move it to its own page. Should be pretty straightforward. Very nice, this gives us much more room to work with when we eventually display individual pay statements in full detail. The My Information page is okay for now, let's just reduce the padding. The new layout comes with a bonus language picker which works as expected, we'll just need to update some more translation keys. There we go, perfect. We have one more hidden page to address, the organization page, which allows the user to switch between their employers. This is good as is, we'll just reduce the padding like before, and I'll add another employer to ensure it still works. This has gone splendidly so far, indubitably, let's push these changes up before we tweak anything else. We have some new pages that require icons, so let's hop over to Flowbyte. We'll grab this file icon for pay statements and this gift box for benefits. Beautiful, they look wonderful on the sidebar. Let's also update this profile icon to match the other ones. Consistency. The menu works the same, let's make sure uh, light mode still works. Alright, let's move on to loading states. In previous episodes, while working on the admin app, we saw that there is a lag between clicking on a page and actually seeing the content. Therefore, we set up loading states to give the user immediate feedback. Let's set that up for the self-serve app as well, now that we have pages. One way to do this in Next.js is to create a new loading page for each route and modify the components to support a loading state. For pay statements, we display a skeleton row for the table which looks like this. Pretty cool. Next, we'll implement something similar for the overview page. We will display the same component but pass in temporary data and the loading parameter. For the quick info component, we simply display a skeleton for each value. And for the salary history, we display a single salary card with similar skeleton blocks. These sentences are tongue twisters, I swear. Little tips and tricks here, if you await a very long promise, you can easily see the loading state. There it is, all the dynamic values are replaced with skeleton loaders, including a salary history card. I think it looks pretty good and it gives the user immediate feedback when they enter the app. Let's check it out in light mode as well, and it looks great. 
I'm happy with this, so let's push these changes up. However, there is a small issue. In Next.js, layout and loading components for one route wrap all the children routes as well. This is good since we only need a single layout for the entire app, however, this is causing the overview loading state to be used on all pages. We can see for a moment that switching to my information displays the overview loading state. To fix this, we'll create a temporary loading state for each route. And most importantly, we will move the overview page and loading state to their own group denoted by round brackets rather than square ones for routes. And there we go, now if we navigate between pages, the correct loading state is shown. Fantastic, learned something new today. Alright, time for a demo. Starting off on the overview page, we have the quick info and salary history components looking absolutely majestic. Heading over to pay statements, we only have the original table for now, with room for more. The benefits page is empty for now. And the My Information page is the same as before. Let's also see the app in light mode, flashbang warning. Everything is looking organized and proper. Lastly, let's test out the organization change to make sure it still works. And everything seems to be correct, not much data to see anyways. And there we go, thank you so much for watching this episode of Devlog. We have transformed the self-serve app into a robust and organized version of its former self, and we also set up a few loading states that make our app very responsive. I hope you enjoyed this episode and maybe learned something along the way. Please make sure to subscribe to follow along and see where this project goes, otherwise I'll see you in the next one.